The reproductive system is the human organ system responsible for the production and fertilization of gametes, sperm or eggs, in a females the carrying of fetus. Both male and female reproductive system have organs called gonads that produce gametes. A gametes is a haploid gamete during fertilization, forming a single diploid cell called a zygote. Besides producing female, the gonads also produce sex hormones. Sex hormones are endocrine hormones that control the development of six organs before birth, sexual maturation at puberty, and reproduction once sexual maturation has occurred. Other reproductive system organs have various functions such as maturation gametes, delivering gametes to the sites of fertilization, and providing an environment for the development of growth of an offspring. Female external sex organ Clitoris The clitoris is the spongy tissue that fills with blood during sexual excitement and becomes erect. It is very sensitive to the touch. The clitoris is the only organ in the human body whose only purpose is sexual pleasure. So, a small, sensitive, erectile part of the female genitals at the anterior end of the vulva. Um, opening of urethra, where pee comes out. The urethra is an extension of a tube from the bladder to the outside of the body. The purpose of the urethra is for the excretion of urine. So, many people think women urinate from the same place of menstrual blood flows from, but no. Women have two separate openings, one specifically for urine only. So, next is opening of vagina. The vaginal opening, also called the vaginal vestibule or introitus, is the opening into the vagina is located between the urethra and the anus. The opening is where menstrual blood leaves the body. It's also used to abort a baby and for sexual intercourse. Next is perineum. This is the area of skin between the vaginal opening and the anus. Some people like this area touch during sexual activity. So next, labia majora or outer lips. The labia majora are the outside lips where pubic hair grows. Labia majora vary in size and color. Some labia majora are bigger than the labia minora or inner lips. Some are smaller, some are dark, some are light. Next, labia minora or inner lips. The labia minora cover the vaginal opening and the urethra. The inner lips are also sensitive and can, and can swell when a woman, woman is aroused. And just like the labia majora, they can vary in size and color, but remember, all are normal. Next is hymen. It's a thin, fleshly tissue that's located at the opening of your vagina. There are a lot of confusion about hymens out there. Many people think the hymen totally covers the opening of your vagina until it's stretched open. It's not usually the case. Hymen, a thin piece of skin that partly covers the opening to a girl's or woman vagina and breaks. Next is anus, the opening at the lower end of the alimentary canal through which the solid refuse of digestion is excreted. So anus is the exit point for solid way. So... So hi everyone, my name is Layang Kanansha. So for today's topic is all about the internal sex organ. So the internal sex organ, they have parts of uterus, fallopian tube, cervix, vagina, and ovaries. So the next slide. Vagina. Vagina are fibromuscular tubular tract, which is the female sex organ and has two main functions. 
sexual intercourse and childbirth. Vagina is the part of menstrual blood and fetus to leave the body. And also, vagina is mucus gland provide lubrication and receive male sex organ and sperm. The next is cervix. The cervix is the cylinder-shaped neck of tissue that connects the vagina and uterus. Located at the lowest most portion of the uterus, the cervix is composed primarily of fibromuscular tissue. The lower cylindrical parts of uterus, mucus gland for lubrication, prefers sperm for fertilization, delayed several folds during the childbirth. So the next is the uterus. The uterus is the largest and the major organ of the female reproductive tract that is the site of fetal growth and is hormonally responsive. So the uterus is the one childbearing organ, fertilized eggs implant in the uterus and grows through the series of stage into a fetus. The uterus is the one child of bearing organ fertilized eggs implant in the uterus and grows through the series of stage into the fetus. The uterus they have a uh, parts the perimetrium, myometrium and endometrium. This is the perimetrium and the myometrium and the last is the endometrium so the perimetrium is a thin layer made of epithelial cells that covers the uterus versatile perifornium the myometrium is the thickest layer of smooth muscles very important tool in child birth the endometrium is the innermost active layer, undergoes series of changes throughout the month under the influence and estrogen and progestone. progestone. So the next is the fallopian tube. The uterine tube, also known as oviducts or fallopian tube are the female structures that transport the ova from the ovary to the uterus each month in the presence of sperm and fertilization. The uterine tube transport the fertilized egg to the uterus for implementation. So the fallopian tube is they have a four parts. As you can see my drawing. So they have the is is most ampulla and infundibulum and fembrae. So, so the isthmus is the joint tube to uterus. As the ampulla is the central dilated parts of fertilization site. The infundibulum is the lateral end as a, in the fimbrae or fimbrae or this is the finger like projection receive all sight this is the I know fimbrae or I don't know what is the proper pronunciation so the next is the ovaries a female reproductive organ often paired that produce ova in mammal secrets that hormones, estrogen, and progesterone. The, the ovaries is a female reproductive hormones, estrogen, and progesterone. The, they, sa, inside of ovaries, as you can see the, the medulla and the cortex. So the medulla is the dense connective tissue, blood vessels, and nerves. So, this, ano, so, dito mo makikita ang medulla inside the ovaries. 
and also the cortex. The cortex is the ovarian follicles various stages of development. So these are the parts of the internal sex organ. So the next is important we'll discuss the male reproductive system. Good day everyone. I am Prince Cedric Gomez and I will be discussing about the male reproductive system and its part. The first part is the peritoneum. The peritoneum serves to support the organs of the abdomen and acts as conduit or channel for the passage of nerves, blood vessels, and lymphatics. Although the peritoneum is thin, it is made of two layers with potential space between them. Sa madaling salita, a peritoneum raw ay nagsisilbing daanan ng nerves, blood vessels, and lymphatics. Next is the urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is a sac that stores urine. The bladder receives urine from the kidney. When the bladder is full, urine is released into the urethra. Or, ang urinary bladder raw ay nagsisilbing stockroom ng ihi galing sa kidney. At kung map mapupuno na ito, ay i-release niya ang ihi papuntang uretra. Next is ductus or vas deferens. Ductus or vas deferens is a muscular tube about 30 cm long that connects the epididymis to the urinary tract or uretra. At the back of the bladder, the main job of the vas deferens is to transport mature sperm and semen to the urethra. Nakikita niyo yung tube na yan na ay nagsisilbing daanan ng, ng sperm and semen papuntang urethra. Yan ang ductus or vas deferens. Next is suspensory ligament of penis. The suspensory ligament of the penis is attached to the pubic symphysis which hold the penis close to the pubic bone and support it when erect. So, ang purpose raw ng suspensory ligament of penis is taga-suporta kapag mag -e erect na yung penis na isang lalaki. Next is pubic symphysis. The pubic symphysis is a secondary cartilaginous joint a joint made of hyaline, cartilage, and fibrocartilage located between the left and right pubic bones, near the midline of the body. More specifically, it is located above any external genitalia and in front of the bladder. The pubic symphysis can be found about above the penis, the joint connects to the ligament of the penis. Next is the prostate. The prostate is located just below the bladder and in front of the rectum. It is about the size of a walnut and surrounds the urethra. The prostate is the production of a fluid that together with sperm cells from the testicles and fluids from other glands make up semen and the muscles of the prostate also ensure that the semen is forcibly pressed into urethra and then expelled outwards during ejaculation. So, ang, ang prostate raw in a, in a, nagpro-produce ng fluid na nakas upang nagpro-produce ng fluid the together with sperm cell from the testicle and fluids from other glands make up semen 
Next is deep muscles of perineum. The, trans, the deep transverse peri, perineal muscle or perineum is innervated by the pond, pondodendal nerve. The function of muscle is to support the floor, the pelvic floor expulsion of semen in males. Next is the bulbouretral or copper's gland. The bulbouretral gland, also known as copper's gland, are a pair of P-shaped. They contribute to the final volume of semen by producing a lubricating macros secretion. So, ang bulbouretral or copper's gland raw guys ay nagpuproduce ng lubricating macros secretion or pampadulas o pampanagkit to the final volume of semen. Next is Corpus cavemosum penis. Corpus cavemosum penis contains spongy erectile tissue. The function of cavern cavernosum is to facilitate penis eruption. So, I wanna show you something, guys. Na kung both the both in right and left side, that is cavemosum penis. That tissue, kapag, kapag mag-e-erect na yung penis ng isang lalaki, guys, mag, mag-e-extend yan hanggang saan. Tapos, kapag mag-re-relax naman, magbabalik naman sa dati. Yan ang function ng corpus cavemosum. Next is... Next is body of penis. The body of penis is located between the root and glands. It is composed of three cylinders of erective tissue, corpora cavernosa, and corpus spongiosum. So, I'm gonna show you a picture, guys, kung saan talaga nakalocate yung body of penis. Yan siya, guys. Between the root and the glands. The corona. The corona of glands penis or co- penis crown refers to the circumfe- circumference of the base of the glands penis in human males, which forms a rounded projecting board no, cavernosa and corpus Spongiosium. So, I'm gonna show you a picture, guys, kung saan talaga nakalocate yung body of penis. Yan siya, guys. Between the root and the glands. The corona. The corona of glands penis or co- penis crown refers to the circumference circumference of the base of the glands penis in human males which forms a rounded projecting border overhanging a deep retrogandular sulcus behind which is the neck of the penis um do ang corona raw guys ay yung parang 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 ano siya, yung na kung saan, parang, parang ano, parang curved part ng, ng, ng penis na isang lalaki yung sa head portion. Yan yung tinatawag na corona, yung sa taas. This one, oh. This one. Yes, this one. Yan yung tinatawag na corona, yung medyo curved part ng head ng ano, ng male reproductive system. Next is 
Gland Spanish The gland spanish can be described as rounded head of penis located in the middle of the glands. Penis is, is the opening of the urethra. Gland spanish raw guys ay yung yung harap yung harap or yung harap ng ng head ng penis yung yung I wanna show you something, guys, para mas ma ano kayo. Yan yung ano, yan yung glands, yung yung upper, yung face, yung harap ng ano ng ng head ng ng head ng penis. That is what we call glands penis. Next is prepus or foreskin. The fold skin. Um. Okay. Wait, lang guys. Okay. Next is prepus or foreskin. The fold skin that covers the head of the penis and foreskin has a purpose. It protects the head of the penis from irritation. Um, actually, guys, kapag bata pa tayo, yung, yung tinatawag nilang supot pa, yung hindi pa tuli, merong skin dyan na nakakover around the head of the penis. And kapag tinutuli na yung bata, pinuputol yung upper part ng skin, tapos kinocompress or pinupush pa, ano, papunta pa, pa loob, Basta yung foreskin guys, yung, yung, ano, yung skin na kung saan kinocover yung, ano, kinocover yung, yung head ng penis. So that we call prepus or foreskin. Usually, makikita ito sa mga batang or baby na, or bata or baby na hindi pa tuli. Next is, lastly, we have external urethral Orifice. Um, the external urethral orifice is the ex, is the inter external opening or mitus of the urethra. It is where urine exits, and it is also where the semen is ejected during ejaculation. So, an external Urethral orifice daw, guys, ay kung saan dun yung lalabas yung ihe or yung mga se- yung semen ng isang lalaki. Ito po siya, guys, o yung labasan ng ihe or semen ng isang lalaki. So, that's all. The male reproductive system. Let's start with sacrum. Sacrum is a wedge-shaped bone that is below fifth lumbar vertebrate that holds the pelvis and spinal column together. Facts about sacrum. Sacrum means sacred in Latin. Many cultures believe that this bone is holy. It protects the precious organs that create life. It is also usually the last bone to root when buried. Next is seminal vesicles. Seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle are sac-like pouches that attach to the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. The seminal vesicles produce a sugar-rich fluid. The seminal vesicle makes up most of the volume of a man's ejaculatory fluid or ejaculate. Next is vesicorectal pouch. Vesicorectal between the rectum and bladder, the peritoneum forms in the male a pouch, the rectovesical pouch, the bottom which is slightly below the level of the upper ends of the Vesicula seminalis about 7.5 cm 
from the orifice of the anus. Next is coccyx. Despite its small size, the coccyx has numerous critical functions along along with being the insertion internet page for extra one muscles, ligaments, and tendons. It also serves as one leg of a tri of the triad along with a essential to retorius that presents weight bearing help to a person in seated position. Next is rectum. Rectum is a straight eight inch chamber that connects the colon to the anus. The rectum's job is to receive stall from the colon. Let you recognize that there is stall to be evacuated and to hold the stall till evacuation happens. When something comes into the rectum, sensors send a message to the brain. The brain decides if the rectal contents can be launched or not. Next is ampulla of ductus. The ampulla act as a storage chambers for the semen and make contributions secretions to it. The yellow secretions the yellow secretions of the ampullae include Ergothionin, a substance that reduces chemical compounds, and fructose, a sugar, and nutrient. Both secretions moisten the sperm and assist to maintain them viable. Next is ejaculatory duct. Ejaculatory duct, a canal in the male form by union of vas deferens and the duct. From seminal vesicle, the, the ejaculatory duct passes through the prostate. Semen passes through at the time of ejaculation. Next is prostatic urethra. Prostatic urethra begins a continuation of a bladder neck and passes through the prostate gland. It is the widest and most dilatable portion of the urethra. Next is membranous urethra. Membranous urethra passes through the pelvic floor and the deep perennial pouch, surrounded by external urethral sphincter which provides voluntary control of micturition. It is the narrowest and least deductible portion of uretra. And the anus. The anus is the opening where the gas intestinal tract ends and exits the body. The anus starts at the bottom of the rectum and the last portion of the colon. So let's proceed to root of penis. Begins directly. So here it is. Begins directly below the bulbouretral glands with a long cylindrical body of tissue known as the corpus spongiosum. Next is the epididymis. Epididymis is a long coiled tube that rests on the back side of each testicle. It transports and stores a sperm cell that are produced in the testes. It also 
is the job of if a dead is to bring the sperm to maturity since the sperm that emerge from the testes are immature and incapable of fertilization. During sexual arousal, contraction pours sperm into vas deferens. So, when we say sexual arousal, magtas na ang libido, may manifestation na, horny ka na. Yan. So, let's proceed to testes. Or yeah, that's this. The, these are oval organs about the size. Here it is. A large olive that lie in the scrotum, secured at either end by a structure called the spermatic cord. Most men have two testes. So, um, karamihan, dalawa. Pero, may iba naman na, um, isa lang ang testes nila. These testes are responsible for making testosterone, the primary male sex hormone, and for generating sperm. Within the testes are coiled masses of tubes similar to use tubules. These tubes are responsible for producing sperm cells. And lastly, the scrotum. This is the last pouch-like sack of skin that hangs behind below a penis. It contains the testicles, also called testes, as well as many nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum acts as a climate control system for the testes. For normal sperm development, the testes must, must be at a temperature slightly cooler than body temperature. Special moving... Special muscles in the wall of the scrotum allow it to contract and relay, moving the testicles closer to the body for warm or farther away from the body to cool the temperature.